Hey guys, Unfrequented World, and Stan has got Gary back in a fever pitch to get out for more colonial goods. So today, we're going detecting again with Stan. Now the plan is we're going to start here at the end of the colonial trade route, not too far from my house. It's easy to get to. The water is way down on the lake right now, so we can go out 100 feet and see if there's stuff that's usually underwater. Maybe we can get to it. From there, we're going to hike back to where we were the other day. We're going to come in from the other end. It doesn't really matter which end we come in from. It's four miles this way or four miles this way, zigzagging, bushwhacking. It's a hike. It's like right in the middle of nowhere from either end. But Stan is convinced we'll have an easier go coming in from the other side. So that is today's plan. No, it's solid. It's just you got to pick your way. It is over your boots, but there's rocks under there. So you got to... That's where we're heading, right here. Oh, he's so going to get wet. Nope. I'm, there. I'm there. I think you're in the wrong spot. No, I'm in the right spot. I'm following your rocks. I'm just not going for the hide. I'm just walking slow. This whole sandbar out here, guys, this, this island 300 years ago was a colonial fort. Yeah, I should have remembered. It doesn't matter how easy the beach is to get to, it's still a beach. And you're going to pick junk all day long. People are pigs and Gary hates the beach. That's the takeaway from this video. Well, that's promising. Look at that, guys. Big old square nail. That's given me a bit of hope here. Well, a solid 21. It's round, but I don't know what it is. Well, I couldn't figure out what it is, guys. I washed it off, and then I looked back in the hole, and I found this. And it is not making the pinpointer go off. That is, I believe, a piece of graphite. And I think that is the cap off of the old-style batteries. I think there was a battery cell here in the ground and that's what's left of it anyway. All right, it's a coin. Is it modern? I think it's just a penny, but how old is it? Actually, actually, it's it's older. 1940. So, there you go. It's been in the ground here 80 years, so there's hope we might find something here good. And just to be clear, this is a private island, so we're just doing the shoreline here. We have 10 feet from the high water mark, so that's what we're sticking to. And so far, lots of junk. So we got another guy, Sean, with us today. And uh, Stan's over here working the shoreline. Got some old chain. 62 Lincoln. All right, we're gonna head for the good spot. Enough of this mucking around out here. There's nothing good happening, so off to Colonial. Almost there, guys, almost there. Just gotta cross one more swamp and a little bit more up through the forest and we're there. Those Florence hurt, buddy. Yeah, I'd say. Jeez, <laughs> they're dangerous. Put your coat on. <laughs> no thanks. It's actually super warm out here today. We're all sweating, we're dropping layers. I guess that's what happens when you work to get in here. So right in here the other day is where I found the straight razor. And we started hitting all those musket balls, so. Time to start swinging. So Stan's heading right back down to my musket ball spot there, so I guess I gotta find a new place to go. No, no, it's all yours, buddy. I just checked her now. No, no, you have fun. You you go at it. <laughs> I'm after gold. Well, first hole of the day at Colonial, and it's an old chunk of lead again, but it was down there almost two feet. Sean says he got something here. That's a nap. Yeah, that's snap. Yeah, that's snap. For sure it's snap. For sure it's snap. Oh yeah, for sure. For you can sure see the marks snap. in it. For sure. 
So they were using that for making arrowheads. Yeah, that's a piece that come off. Out of the... Yeah, this is, this is... Look at that, guys. That's native artifact right there. There's napping on that stone. Nice find, buddy. Right in the hole with the uh, musket ball. Nice. So I got a musket ball here, nice round one. You got something, Sean? No, but I can't find it. <laughs> Story of my life. Can't find it. All right, it's time for mystery balls. We've got this mystery ball, and there's something inside there. Or is it the whole thing? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the whole thing. When in doubt, smash it out. Okay, so. It actually looks like a, a wire that you'd put keys on, so maybe it's not that old. Yeah, I'm going to have to say maybe a hunter dropped that. There's lots of shell casings around here. I don't know, what do you think of that? Almost looks like a key ring fob or something, you know, the round... Key ring or a piece of spring. I uh, definitely would say not colonial. Yeah, I wouldn't think, but it could have been binding. They had steel wire they wrapped around stuff, buddy. Oh my god. Stan! <laughs> I think I found part of your musket. Oh, am I being crazy right now? But that's what that looks like. I haven't brushed it, cleaned it. I just reached down and pulled it out of the mud. Come and check this out. Tell me if I'm crazy. I will. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, you're crazy anyway. <laughs> no, that's a fucking, that's part of your lock. That's that, part of your musket. That's exactly what that's I thought. That's part of your flintlock. That's a striker plate. Bring it closer, please, Gary. No, you can come through the swamp, Stan. Oh, I had to come Gary. through the swamp. Gary. <laughs> that's That's part of your flintlock. That's your, that's your strike plate. Oh. I gotta wash it off. I haven't even washed it. I haven't done anything. There might be more there. That's exactly what it looked like to me as soon as I pulled her out. It's your strike plate. It sure looks like it, Gary. See? It sure looks like it, buddy. Yeah, no, that's it. That's it. sure it. looked like it. No, that is. This requires electrolysis, right okay? That's the, because uh, they were on the right side and they had the flat yeah, plate. Yeah. The flat plate where they that's bolted in on the left. And you look on that one, it's got the flat plate where they built on yeah. the left. No, that's it. That's exactly. That's right. Woohoo! Yeah! Score of the day! <laughs> now, do you, amazingly enough, you'll be able to make that a lot more recognizable. Do you want me to restore it? You can or, restore or, or it, Stan. Electrolysis, it's yours. It's yours. Don't worry. I know it's going on the wall. <laughs> uh, I got to see if there's more over here. <laughs> hey, there's a better look, guys. Look at that. Absolutely. That is a striker plate for a musket crazy like i was just saying to stan why would you throw that away i guess they must have damaged it whoa <laughs> or forgot it one or the other uh i gotta see if there's more in the hole over there <laughs> guys i can't tell you how stoked i am right now that was a piece on my bucket list right there to find an old musket or the best part i could of a musket and that's it right there that's the best part of a musket next and to the sticker and stan is going to restore that for me so man i just i'm like floating right now it's this is awesome okay this just came out of the same hole guys i'm a little confused whether it's part of that musket or not this nodule on the end is just that a nodule you can see where the iron square ends and then just old rust there on the end of it but it almost looks like a pocket knife what are the chances that he dropped a pocket knife in the same hole that he left his musket. Were they attacked? Did he have to jump in the canoe and get out of here in a hurry? I don't know. Is this part of the musket? I don't know.
I think there's more in the hole. And right beside the striker plate, we got some musket balls. One here, and I think there's another one in the hole still. All right, guys, look at this. I just pulled a square nail out of here, two feet from the musket, and it's got a rose head on this. That's old. That's 1700s. 1600s. Well, Stan, Stan says 16. I say 17. <laughs> it's old. Who knows? It's old. It's older than the 1800s, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's a rose head. All right, so Sean says he's got the chafe out of a shoe buckle, and I just made my way treacherously over here. Took 15 minutes to get around that. Now I got to go back. And one more he's got here, which we almost missed, a really nice old colonial buckle. I don't know if that would have came out of a shoe chafe or if that would be a suspender buckle. It seems light to me for a shoe, but, I mean, we'll have to do some research. But that is definitely colonial red coat gear. Colonial beer cap. Very rare. Well, not that rare. Canadians do like their beer. I try to envision what it would have been like here 400 years ago, coming down these long swamps, you know, no, nothing around, just wildlife and Canadian bush as far as you can see. So where we're digging all the artifacts is just around the corner, about 75 yards. And from that point on to where I am, there's nothing. So essentially, we have to find the places where these guys got out of the canoes and started portaging again. And that's the only place that we find stuff. And we had to walk miles to get in here today. And we'd already found this in the last video. So uh, it's very rare, these spots that we're finding. Dominion Sovereign, 10 gauge. So I'm not familiar with that, how old that is. But we should be able to find that online. 10 gauge is not that common up here. Lots of 12s, 16, 20. I don't find a lot of 10 gauge. You had the you had the best find of the day. That there, I would I trade all my finds just. To have that. <laughs> so far, musket flint striker is not bad. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> kind of nail used specifically for something a very unusual nail and you should google it and do your research let me see it's a special nail so sean found this i've never seen one like this i don't know what what this is steel grunt real grunt it was with the uh knife blade okay and what else you got put her on there he's got some good stuff here uh button oh nice and if you look at the shank on the button it's flat and drilled yeah, that's... That's early. Yeah. The only pewter was earlier than those. Okay, so that's two rose heads. I was sure mine was a rose head. And my knife blade. Oh, you found a knife blade too. Nice. And a lead buckshot. I found one of those the other day too. Didn't put it in the video, so there this we go. This one, this one, and this one all came out of the same hole. Okay, sweet. I think we've got the only spot here for four miles. This is it, guys. Keep digging. All right, Stan's covering all our bases today. He's going to do some magnet fishing here. So we figure that it came around this point out here. And then right in here is where they were pulling in the canoes and portaging from here. All of the finds that Sean found were right, right where he's standing in that area right there. So... So I've got another perfect musket ball here. These are brand new guys. They just smelted these right here on this spot. These have never been fired. And I can't figure out how they dropped so many of them. Must be 10 or 12 we've pulled out of here now. And Stan says he's got another one over there. So I don't know why. Why would you leave these behind? Because back in that era, that took you time and energy to make. Can't figure it out. Again, I can't figure out why a guy would leave his musket behind either, so I don't know. What do I know? <laughs> I don't have my brush. Hey, okay, Stan's got a buckle over here. I think that's a new buckle. Is that a new buckle? No. It's fancy. It's pretty. It's definitely. You got your uh, water and, some, and your brush there? I just put mine in my backpack. Look at that, guys. That is fancy. It's got like a sparkly material where... I don't know. 
the inside i don't know what that was made of but look at that for fancy look at the back colonial all day long Look at, right here, I just saw it ripping through the grass, an old button. Look at that. Shiny. Is that Tom back? Almost looks like, I don't know if that's just the scratches on it, but... Yeah, I think it is. See? That's Tom back. Yeah, that's Tom back. That's uh, seven by my eyes right now. Seventeen eighty-five to eighteen hundred. All right, so we rocked it today, guys. Uh, flint striker off a musket, uh, old square nail with a rose head, musket balls, Tom back button, possibly a pocket knife. Then we got a really nice buckle here. This is Stan's, a few musket balls. And then Sean just killed it today with all his finds. The weird key thing. Oh, the napping rock. Then we got a suspender or a shoe uh, clip, we're not sure. Knife blade and some more musket balls. And another, uh, this one I think is actually iron as well. But look at the quality of the iron that they used to make stuff out of. You know, that's 300, 400 years old and not a speck of rust on it. Amazing day, guys. You guys are gonna call me on it. I actually dug the wrong nail out of my pouch here. I just showed you guys this one. That's the one we found at the waterfront this morning. This is the one with the rose head that I found down at the water here. Ha, 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 ha.